Okay. Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, and on three. One, two, three. I now work with elementary children in the Lincoln Public School System, and I love what I do but it was quite a pathway getting me there. I'm so glad that I had a nurturing environment where I was encouraged to explore and to achieve. I was one of those typical teacher types, even as a child, where I lined up my teddy bears and tried to teach them things. I took my little brother and sat him down and made him learn things. My parents had a library there at our home of books that I could read at any time. We had morning and evening worship where we read the Bible, where we read the spirit of prophecy. And also my church that I grew up in, Sharon Seventh-day Adventist Church, was a wonderfully nurturing environment where young people were um, encouraged to be leaders, were encouraged to learn. I'm glad that my Parents insisted a bit, twisted my arm a bit, and made me stay there at Academy. Then began to instill in me the idea of going to college. I'm the first of the five of us children to finish college and get a bachelor's degree, and that was in music. I later went on to get my degree in elementary education, and I'm glad I did that. I love music. I thought about journalism, I thought about being a librarian, but working in a school as a teacher, I'm around books all the time. I can incorporate music anytime I want to into my teaching, and uh, I also can write on the side and teach my children how to write. Education in the elementary classroom seemed to be the ideal setting for me. But when I was in academy, I was told don't worry about going to college. Um, but in talking it over with my parents again and with others in my class, I made that decision for myself to pursue higher education and to go for my goal, which was to get my bachelor's in education, in music education. The first class that I had was in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I had over 40 children in my first grade class. Wow. I did not graduate in elementary education. I graduated in music education. The school had advertised for a music teacher, but when I arrived there, they said, actually our music program is going to start within the next two years, and if you would just go ahead and teach elementary classes until we get the music program up and running, we'd really appreciate that. Because I was 21 years old, I agreed to that. <laughs> and uh, that was an interesting experience. Wherever you are, children, I apologize to you <laughs> because I didn't really know what I was doing. Fortunately, it was first grade, and so I could, uh, I knew enough to get through that year. The second year, our music program began. I became pretty discouraged with it, and I actually got out of education for just a little while, for about three years, because that experience uh, scared me a bit, and I wondered, was I really going to be the teacher that I wanted to be? Uh, when I came back to Nebraska, and my mother was ill at that time, very ill, and so I helped uh, the family at that time, helped my mother during her final illness, and then I got back into teaching, and I've been teaching ever since, and I know that that's the place where I belong. One of the most memorable things that happened to me as a teacher was when I was teaching third and fourth grade. There was a little boy who came from a very, very uh, economically disadvantaged background. And I'm going to, this is not his real name, but I'm just going to call him Tom. Their family had a lot of children and not very much money. And I didn't know exactly what the home situation was, but from how they came to school each day and the things that they had or didn't have in their lunches, I could tell that um, poverty had a huge impact on their family. He came to school almost literally in tatters every day. 
who would come to class and the other children wouldn't want to associate with him because his clothing wasn't clean. One day, this little boy came and he had a box and he said, Miss Harrington, I love you. I have a present for you. And I said, you do? What is it? And so I opened the box and inside the box was this little figurine, I guess you'd call it. It wasn't even made out of porcelain or ceramic. It was plastic, but it was gold colored plastic. And I said, oh my, this is really lovely. Thank you so much. Then when he had gone his way and the school day was over, I'm very ashamed to say that I took the item and I put it in the trash can. That's just terrible, I know, but that's what I did. One of the other little boys in my class would help his father in the evening. His father was the custodian at the school. So when I come back to school the next day, the little figurine is sitting on my desk again. And I thought, how did that happen? And so the little boy who helped his dad clean up said, oh, Miss Harrington, something terrible happened. It dropped into the trash can, but I saw it and I, I saved it for you. I know you wouldn't want to lose that. And I said, oh, thank you so much. And so this time I thought I would be a little more clever in it and I put it in the restroom trash can. I'm so ashamed to say I did that. And so then the next day it appeared on my desk and <laughs> the little boy said, Miss Harrington, you'll never guess what happened. I don't know how it got in the restroom trash can, but I saved it for you and here it is. And so evidently he told Tommy what had happened. And Tommy came up to me and he said, oh, Miss Harrington, I'm so glad that my friend saved that. And I said, oh, yes, you know, I'm so sorry. That was so fake, but that's what happened. He took it off of my desk and he put it in my hands. And he said, I want you to be careful with that. He said, because it's real gold, you know, and it's worth ever so much. And I was so humbled in that moment. They were desperately poor. And yet he thought that he had given me something gold that his family could have used. I have it in my dining room china cabinet right now. <laughs> All these years later. So thank you, Tommy. Wherever you are, I love you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it.